Spectacular action all day long in day two of the Texas Relays, highlighted by us crowning our heptathlon and decathlon champions. Larry, in the heptathlon today, day one was won by Erica Bogart, and so was day two. Well, she was known in her little town of Bihalia, Mississippi, for her basketball prowess. And at 5'3", 122 pounds, nobody offered her a scholarship, but she did run some track. And look at the results two years later. As she powers away here to get a personal best by a quarter of a second and take over and wind up within two years being the NCAA champion in the women's heptathlon this past indoor season. She jumped 5'11 and a half there, personal best by a full second. And rounding out the full day's activities, the 200 meters, the fourth of the four events, the first day of the women's heptathlon. She powered around the turn and took the lead away from McCabe outside, who wound up getting the best of her in the women's Southeast Conference Championship pentathlon earlier this indoor season. And she was off to a great first day. But she does have some weaknesses in her event, although her potential is enormous. Even though she is only 5'3", 122 pounds, and most women at the elite level are 5'9", 5 5'10", 5 it's good to keep in mind that Jenica Ennis, Jennifer Ennis of Great Britain is just 5'5", 126 pounds, and she is the Olympic champion in the heptathlon this event. And she cruises home in the 800 meters and wins the Texas Relays heptath heptathlon title. Congratulations to her. Dwight, we expected a three-way battle in the decathlon. We got it. That's exactly what we got. This is uh, Duke Junior Curtis Beach. He went down to a third attempt in the long jump. He had two fouls and rode a nice tailwind out to a personal best of a half a foot after a personal best in the 100 and was off to the races. He had a decent high jump. He jumped 6'9 in high school, but he's about a 6'7 guy in most meets these days. And at 400 meters, his strength at 800 meters really helps. He's adding speed along with adding strength. But so far, the adding strength has not helped him that much in the throwing events, which he admits are his weakness. He had a great day in the pole ball, the full foot personal best over his all-time outdoor jump, jumping 16, 8 and 3 quarters, and that put him back in position to win the Texas Relays. This was one of his weaker events, the javelin, but he came close to his personal best, just missing it by about five feet, but he's still in the 150s, and he needs to get that javelin best back up into the 180s, 190s, if he's gonna be truly competitive on the full national scene. He took just the one throw, and you could see him holding his elbow there. Because of the extra added weight, his 1,500 meters has suffered a little bit, but he had such a huge <laughs> amount of uh, advantage over the rest of the field that he won easily by 107 points. He is the Texas Relays champion. And he defeated Isaac Murphy, the defending champion from 2012. We have more coverage tomorrow. Incredible action from Austin, Texas and the Longhorn Texas Relays.